Um, the one most people struggle with is the bowline. Okay, that's one piece of rope. And if you want to tow something in the board or lift something up, it's a good secure knot to do. Okay. The way I try and remember, and there's different ways you can tie this. Okay, but the way I try and remember is the left hand has the longer piece. Some people use that little uh, rhyme, the rabbit runs out of a hole in the mountain the tree. So if you're going to do that, think of the right hand as holding the rabbit. Okay, it's so a left hand long piece, the right hand's got the rabbit. Now what you need to do is make a loop. Okay, and you do the loop with the long piece in the left hand, L, L, L. To make that loop, you go up, or I go up. Okay, so loop like that. And then the rabbit will run out of a hole, goes around the tree, and remember it goes back in the same way it came out, so you wouldn't go in this way, but instead back in exactly the same way it came out, and you pull. And a good knot is always very easy to undo. All right, the other one, the sheet bend is when you're tying two pieces of rope together. They can be unequal thickness. Okay, normally the thicker one would be something attached to a boat, and then you'd have a smaller one, maybe it's more tender path you're tying on. Okay, the sheet bend, one of the, it's good as well if when you're demoing this or having your students do it, use two pieces of rope of different color, then you can see it being done easily. Okay, so you just simply make a loop, come through, behind, okay, and now this piece goes across. And if you look at the red, what number might that look like? Four. Four. Nine. So I always remember, for me, it's okay, you make a four, and then when you pull it tight, what does the red look like now? What number? Eight. So for me, the sheet bend is four to eight. Just the way I remember it. Thank you.